It was a beautiful warm October day. It had been a very wet and windy autumn so far. The sun was out, illuminating leaf and berry. And little hats of fungi poking up through the grass. We'd had so much wet weather, the ground was waterlogged. I could have walked along the road, which was much drier, but it was much more fun splashing through the puddles. I'd left Richie checking the boat for a suspected water leak, as the water tank pump kept triggering every few minutes or so. that water out so I'm not standing in there and mm. for some reason that pump isn't um, pumping the water out so this could be blocked up here where it goes out right. although it was working there's a pipe runs round the top here from here I haven't even looked to see if there's any um, water in the other side yet yeah, because Jeffrey's yeah. getting involved don't you yeah, Water in the other side as well. It only brings so much out. I've got to get all that out of there. Now I'll have to pull all this out and, and find out what's going on. Um, there we go. So what, it all is in there. It's all See water it? in there as well. There is more water than I've seen in a long, long time. It's got to be the tanks. Yeah. Giving up the ghost of yeah. that water tank. Yeah. So we've got to order a new new tank and, and plumb it in and fit it. So there's no hot water for now. Right, can I have that cup of tea? You can. All this, all this here would have to come out to fit a new one of them in. The whole thing would have to be ripped out yeah. uh, completely to fit that in. you know I didn't really want to have to do this. Right, there's some water. See? In the lagging. On the lagging, yeah. on that last piece of lagging at that end. I said, uh, that's the drain for the water tank. Right. So I think there's nothing coming out of there. That water tank's empty. empty. Yeah. So the whole hot water tank has just gone. Oh. Yeah. The wind had got chillier, so as I went back to the boat via the cratch, I noticed the sky had become very overcast. More bad weather was forecast for later on, and that was all we needed. The seagulls seemed to have suddenly swelled in numbers. They were only two a few weeks ago, then six, and now they seem to have taken over the marina. poorly constructed, not by me, part shelf that sits on top of the hot water tank. So we've got to move it all out. It gives me a chance to make some proper uh, shelving instead of bits of scrap wood. Uh, wasn't planning on any of this, but there you go. It is what it is, and that tank's got to come out and the new one's got to go in. There's only one way to do it. Right, come on. Come on, Mrs. Let's go. Right, shelving, most of it's out. The poorest quality piece of shelving. And they used this on most of the boat, unfortunately. I guess it was just budget. Um, there's a few planks of wood there you can see that were nailed across on top. Uh, so this is going to get all redone, but at least now I want to take the uh, the last bits of uh, looks like floorboard they've used, take that off, and then hopefully we might be able to just disconnect the tank and pull it out and find out what we need to order. It's got to be the tank from the amount of water that came out the build years and the fact that when I drained off the uh, 
at the drain point there was nothing came out of it so I'm, I'm going we'll find out if it's empty or not in a minute then I'll be with the tanks out I'll be able to get to that de-rust it and paint it while we're waiting for the tank to, to, to come so um, because you can't get to it with, with everything on you know in no. position no. so uh, and we might we might rebuild some of this I think it's a good opportunity. I know it's a bit of a disaster, but I think it's a good opportunity to um, correct things. That, well, really, yeah. this is where you should put your stairs. So this is now the state of our bathroom, which is an absolute utter chaos since we found out that the um, water tank, hot water tank was leaking. So this is how we're going to have to live for the next week or so until we can replace the tank. And there's a whole lot of other work we found we need to do. I'm sure we can do something better than this. Might be pine though. Might <laughs> be any money for anything else. So. See, the, when they screwed this in, they didn't even put a washer in. So it's, it's literally eating itself into the wood. So they, they didn't put a washer underneath to... I don't know, it's just put together. I mean, I'm not a craftsman by a long, long way. But it's not put together. And when you don't need any more water and your job is as difficult enough as it is, cue wind and heavy rain. The latest from the engine room is we've managed to get rid of all the water we have taken the tank out we have uh, ordered a new tank which Richie's just gone to get we have now got a fan going in the background I don't know if you can hear it which is drying out the engine room and we're hoping to get some de-rusting done and then painting and so we're going to do that before we put the tank in problem is we have today is it's absolutely horrendous out there it's really heavy rain and it's horrible so we would have just opened the back doors and let nature dry the boat out but unfortunately that's not to be today so we have a fan on and um, if that can manage to dry it out in the next hour or two we can crack on and get some de-rusting done we'll have to see uh, tank won't get fitted today so at the moment I'm using three five litre bottles of water to make cups of tea and flush the toilet with because we have a cassette toilet and um, you know we, we can't use the washing machine or anything like that at the moment so it's, it's, it's a real pain we have stuff everywhere the boat is an absolute chaos we've got lagging and tools and stuff in the shower in the bathroom and the stuff ready for shelving which we were going to do that was going to be our job for yesterday until we discovered the horrors that lay underneath the engine room floor. But you know, that's old boats for you and there will be plenty more challenges like this ahead, I'm guessing, and it's all part of it. It's all part of boat life and it can happen to anyone at any time. I'll keep you updated. I'll do a little video to show you the other issues that we've had, which is actually getting on and off stern deck into the boat and um, and I'll, I'll do a little video to explain that and hopefully this might give us the opportunity to reconfigure how we get on and off. So we'll see. <laughs> I'll keep you updated. See you in a little while. Bye bye.
This is the first coat of paint that's been on this part of the boat for 20 years, I would imagine. This is where the tank sat and leaked all over and went very rusty. Thankfully, covered in paint, I should have started the other end. <laughs> Thankfully, it's a case of just slopping the paint on, it doesn't have to be like you're applying in a house gloss paint. It's cheap metal paint from Aldi. I used it over on the bilge floor on the other side and it's, uh, it's been really good to be honest. It's been perfectly adequate. It's kept the rust off. Uh, it was de-rusted with crust. You can use back tan or fur tan I think it's called. As long as you put something on it. Let's do its, its magic on the, the metal. And just work the paint into all the little ripples. Getting it to dry was the hard part because it's been cold and wet. I had to run the, the small electrical heater into here to uh, to get everything. It still took a good 18 hours probably for uh, all this to, to dry. I'm hoping the paint's going to dry quicker because I need to get the tank in today. Because obviously we get no water. Bit, yeah, it feels a little bit drier in here today. Yesterday it was distinctly damp. Right, here's my new water tank. There is the old decrepit water tank that we've pulled out because it was leaking. So we've got this very expensive new one, which we're just going to unbox and hopefully install today. I'm hoping instructions yes gonna need them <laughs> right let's not lose those in the canal Um, I'm going to see if I can find out which of these pipes runs into the, I guess, which of the taps or which of the showers. One's on the top, one's on the bottom. I might be able to work out which is the hot water one then, because I don't want to plumb them in wrong. I'm just going to double check all these connections when I'm finished. And, uh, must be time for a cup of tea in a minute. There we are. With that being flexible, I'm <laughs> fairly happy with that. Fairly happy with that. That goes up and that leaks straight out. So that there is the um, the blow off pressure valve thingy that um, will take any extra water out and around and out to the, the bilges. So let's just double check these connections. So, to the bilge, that one there. Engine cold is that one there. I have disconnected the electricity, absolutely for sure. See the end of the uh, cable there, battery charge is off, so it's safe to wire this immersion heater in.
Rich and I were up early. I wanted to catch the sunrise. It's still way too early for Geoffrey, who's still sleeping it off. We have quite a small hatch. It's only small compared to a lot of other boats that I've, I've seen. And those are our doors. And then on the bottom of the door is where the floor comes into the boat. And then lower down is the main floor where you exit. So that comes a step up from the bedroom. And the problem that we had was that there was just a big platform basically from the bottom of this piece of board here and level with the doors and it was just horrible trying to clamber up um, you could just about sort of get your, your your knee onto it and then you'd have to haul yourself up with nothing to actually grab onto so you just have to kind of use momentum to try and haul yourself up and then crouch down to get up uh, and through that hatch when it's back so i'm really hoping that the good thing about having this tank taken out is that we might be able to put some steps in which would be a lot safer and a lot more comfortable. It all depends on how this tank fits in, how we can make it um, so that we can have maybe, even if it was just two steps down, that would be much better than just having that great big platform. The other, the other thing which is a bit of a pain is there was storage underneath here and um, Richie needs access to the stern gland down there and the weed hatch. So. We will have to see how we can make, make it uh, make it work. It might not. We might end up back with the platform. I'm praying we don't, but we'll see. Well, that's all that can be done for now. There's a trip to a DIY store for materials. Tomorrow's another day. Time for an evening walk with Geoffrey. Shifting the seasons is on the way, with the first hints of autumnal hues, ripened berries, flowers in the last gasp of summer colour. Our evening walks are becoming earlier now, the nights are drawing in. The field is waterlogged at the moment, so we walk the perimeter of the marina instead. It won't be long before dark. Time to head back and cosy up by the fire. Someone's looking a little more lively this morning. Time to get up and take our morning walk. I quite often like to get up early and go out on my own. It's early autumn and everywhere is still fairly green and lush. It's strange to think in just a few weeks time these reeds will have turned to a golden rusty brown. I love this part of the marina. I like to walk down to the bridge, onto the towpath. I think about how lucky I am to live this lifestyle. I'm aware of time now, more than ever. In the past four years, we've lost four close friends. We do hope that we get to be continuous cruisers. 
We really want to get out there on the canal, but at the moment we have anchors and we're just going to have to learn to have some patience. We'll get there one day, but at the moment we're enjoying the benefits marina life provides. I love the golden light at this time of year. As I'm recording, a rainbow emerges as the clouds let loose a gentle shower. As the raindrops fall, it's fun to lose yourself in the upside down world of reflections. I can't tell you how pleased I was to get our bathroom back. So, here it is. We're not done yet, there's painting and finishing off to do, but I can't tell you what a difference the steps have made. Every cloud really does have a silver lining. sunset that evening was a spectacular sight. It ended a day of bright sunshine and wispy clouds, showers and rainbows. As we settled down for the night, it was raining stair rods again. It really has been a wet month. But it was safe, cosy and warm inside Sapphire. Good night everyone. <laughs>